In this video, I'm going to be working out an individual integral. I'm going to take a look at the integral of natural log of x quantity squared dx. All right, now to do this problem, it is going to involve two integration by parts. However, I am going to use a shortcut method to do that integration by parts. Um, and if you are curious, and this is the first time you've ever seen this shortcut, um, definitely check around down at the bottom in the description as well as on the channel because um, I've got a video that goes into great detail about how you can implement this shortcut for integration by parts. All right, but I am going to assume that you've watched some of my other videos and you are used to this shortcut. All right, so I'm going to start right here, and I know I need to do some integration by parts, so I'm going to do my shortcut. I'm going to create a column for my derivative and a column for my integral. All right, because of uh, what this is, I'm going to choose to put um, the natural log of x quantity squared under the derivative column natural log of x quantity squared, and then that's going to leave me with just a 1 in my integral column, because 1 times that's going to equal that. All right, so on my left-hand side, I'm going to take the derivative. So when I take the derivative there, I'll have a 2 natural log of x times 1 over x. I'm not going to worry about simplifying that. All right, and then if I did the derivative again, hopefully you don't need to do it a second time, but you can see that when you go from here to here, I am starting to, this quantity is starting to approach zero. So let's just put that on here. All right, starts um, to approach zero. Okay, not written out very neat there, but starts to approach approach zero. So in the shortcut, that tells me then that I'm done and I don't have to keep taking the derivative. Ideally, what you want to do is you want to be able to take the derivative, take the derivative, take the derivative, and get down to zero. But sometimes that doesn't work, and in this case it didn't. But I can see that I am approaching zero, so I'm only going to do this once. All right, then I'm going to come back up here, and per my shortcut rules, I'm going to put a plus in front of the first one, and I'm going to put a minus in the second one. I would be alternating signs here. Okay, now I'm going to come over here in the... Um, integral column and I'm going to integrate 1 with my dx there. It's going to give me an x. Now I've integrated as many times as I need to to be able to do this. Now we multiply on the angle. If there's anything left over, which in this one there is, then I'm going to integrate and multiply coming back this direction. Okay, so that little shortcut right there, even though I did take kind of a long time to go through that, is definitely uh, probably going to be shorter than your regular integration by parts. So from this now, I can take this integral and I can rewrite it. So I'm going to have these two things multiplied together. So I will have an x times the natural log of x quantity squared. All right, and then integrating going this way, positive times a negative, it'll be a minus right here. And then I'm going to integrate 2 natural log of x times that 1 over x and then times that x, that extra x right there. Okay, now that's a pretty yucky expression right there, so we can clean it up a little bit. Um, let's see, this x in the top and this x in the bottom is going to cross out, and I can pull that 2 out in front of that integral. So then I'm going to have, this isn't going to change, x natural log of x quantity squared minus, pull that 2 out in front, the integral of natural log of x dx. Okay, now I'm going to need integration by parts again right here. I've got to do integration by parts again. All right, some people might have that integral memorized, um, but if not, then we'll just go ahead and do it again. Here, let's do it in a different color. So again, I'm going to do this two-column thing here. So I'm going to have my derivative and my integral. All right, and again, just like I did with this one, I'm going to put that natural log of x in my derivative column and the 1 in my integral column. All right, I'm going to take the derivative of natural log of x, and it's going to get me 1 over x. All right, and just like here, I can see that from here to here, all right, I'm starting to approach a zero, so I don't need to keep going because I'm approaching zero, so I know I can stop. Now I'm going to come over here and integrate. I've got a 1. I'm integrating with respect to that dx, so I'm going to get an x. All right, now just like I did on the other one, I'm going to come up here. You always start with a plus and then a minus, alternating signs. If I had more uh, rows, I would plus, minus, plus, minus all the way down. 
we multiply on the angle, and because I had stuff left over here, I did not get a zero in this column, I have to integrate coming back this way. All right, so now I can come back over here. All right, this first term is not going to change. X, natural log of X quantity squared, minus. All right, now I do have a two in front of this integral, so I'm gonna keep that two in front of the integral go to a square bracket. Now I'm going to get my integration answer here from this. So x times the natural log of x, x, natural log of x. All right, I've got a minus, because positive times negative there is going to give me a minus. The integral of 1 over x times dx, dx. All right, now I can go ahead and simplify that. Those x's are going to cross out which really means I'm just integrating one right there. So writing some more steps here, x natural log of x quantity squared minus two, keeping that x natural log of x minus the integral of one dx. All right, now I'm down to an integral that I can work out really easy. That's just gonna be a straight x since I'm re uh, integrating there with my dx. So I'm gonna have x, natural log of x quantity squared minus 2 times the quantity of x natural log of x. Integrating there is going to give me a minus x. Now that I have done all of the integration in the problem, I'm ready for my plus c. All right, and then uh, just depending on how you want your answer there, I could distribute the 2. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's do x natural log of x quantity squared minus a 2 x natural log of x and then um, negative 2 times negative x is going to be positive so plus 2x plus c. Alright, that's a perfectly good answer. If you needed to factor out an x you could do that um, otherwise you can just stop right there. Uh, so definitely a um, nice little integral there that involves two integration by parts. If you do the shortcut, all right, obviously we were doing the shortcut here on this integral right here for that natural log of x squared, and we were doing this shortcut um, right here on that integral right there. Okay, so um, not that you can't do the long method. This just kind of, I think, is a little bit uh, quicker, and especially if you're really good at this shortcut method. All right, it works a lot of times with just plain nice little polynomial trig functions, natural log functions, works really nice. Um, definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please um, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.